Hey, pink butterflies. It's your girl, Lady Sylvia. How y'all doing? So I hope this is enough light. I'm doing like a car chronicles today. I'm in my car. I just got home from church and I'm tired, boss. But we just going to jump right in, okay? So today we're talking about obedience. In particular, obedience is better than sacrifice. So let me just give you a little backstory of what happened about a month or six weeks ago, something like that. My daughter said, oh, you know, mommy, I want to go to my friend's birthday party in Houston. It's like an hour, hour and a half away from where she is now, where she's attending college now. And, you know, that's her friend. They've been friends for years. I didn't have a good feeling in my spirit about it, but... You know, I didn't want to be that mama that's like, mm -mm, don't go, girl. Mm -mm. She has to make her own decisions. You know, she's got to learn. She's got to walk her own walk. So anyway, um, the day before she was supposed to go, um, I saw an accident and I saw her being involved in an accident. And immediately I started rebuking the enemy and praying and pleading the blood of Jesus over her and whomever else will be involved in the accident or whatnot. And I never said anything because my daughter is the type of person, if I say, girl, be careful. I had a vision that you were in an accident and it was serious. I mean, the vision I saw, it was a serious, serious accident. And my baby was very badly injured. And I couldn't tell her that because my daughter is the type of person that she won't go then. She'll just be like, forget it. I'm just, I'm just not going to go because she know I'm not going to come to her and tell her I saw this and I saw that every five minutes. So I didn't say anything. I kept it to myself and I rebuked the enemy and I prayed on it. And I just said, you know, I'm going to just let it be. So then um, it comes the day that she's supposed to go to Houston. So... Um, I saw the accident again and I prayed and I was like, okay, now the devil is a lie. You're not fixing to harm my baby now. I, okay. So my daughter calls me and we're on the phone and she said, I just left campus. I'm on my way to Houston. I was like, okay. So I was like, where are you? She was like, right around the corner from campus. We weren't on the phone a minute. I heard a horn blow and then I heard just metal on metal and then dead silence. When I tell you, everything in me froze because I saw this accident ahead of time, two times. I had a bad feeling about it, but I just prayed and believed God. I'm on the phone with my child and she has the accident that I saw in my visions. But this is the part that gets me. The other car was totaled, flipped upside down. My daughter had damage to her vehicle, but it wasn't significant and she was not hurt. And praise God, neither was the other driver. Neither of them were hurt. You know, of course, stiffness, backache, neck ache, things like that. But neither of them was significantly hurt. And even though his car was flipped upside down and it was totaled and her car had some good damage on it, it was not totaled. But more importantly, my baby and the gentleman was alive. She didn't have all the hurt and damage that I saw previously. The Bible says no weapon formed against you won't prosper. The weapon formed, she had the accident, but it didn't prosper because she's still on this side of glory. Come to find out, the little girl tells me that she didn't really want to go. She was only going because it's her friend and they haven't seen each other since graduation and whoop de whoop and wop de wop. And I said, that's what you get for not listening to the spirit of discernment. That was God trying to tell you, uh-uh, don't go. But baby, God had a ram in the bush because mama forever praying. Mama was over here praying and believing God that if something should happen, that it won't be as bad as the enemy would try to make it to be. I'm just thankful we had insurance, baby, at that time. How about she had the deductible money just sitting there? So it all worked out for good. 
and she and the other guy live to tell the story. So the whole point of my story is obedience is better than sacrifice. She should have been obedient to the nudging of the Holy Spirit and not gone to Houston that weekend for whatever reason. And I'm thankful that I was obedient to the Holy Spirit and I prayed without ceasing that nothing would happen to my baby. You never know what God is protecting you from. At that same university that she was supposed to go and visit, not even two weeks later, there were like two or three shootings back to back on that campus. God might have allowed my baby to get in an accident, but protected her from a bullet. Huh. That's enough to shout on right there because you don't know what God is protecting you from when he say no or not now. Whatever he's protecting you from is much better than what he's allowed to happen to you right now. So I said all that to say, butterflies, obedience is better than sacrifice. If there is something that's gnawing at you in your spirit or even if you don't know what it is or where it's coming from, but you just feel uneasy, unsure and unsettled. Don't do it. Don't move. Don't buy it. Don't sign it. Don't give it away. Don't do nothing. If you don't know, don't do anything. Obedience is always better than being the sacrificial lamb on the back end of that thing. So y'all have a blessed week. I'm tired, boss. I went out there to that party last night. Didn't have to get up and go work at the church this morning. Yes, I partied last night and went to church this morning. And so y'all have a blessed week i'm going in here baby i'm going to eat and i'm going to take a nap like you ain't never seen let me tell you the nap i'm getting ready to take ain't even been invented yet i'm getting ready to go start it in here this is about to be a old dirty nap honey so y'all have a blessed day peace